Hello everyone, it's Tom the taxi driver and in this video I'm going to be talking about is driving a cab stressful? Is driving a cab stressful? I get customers and people ask me this a lot, they say oh I could never do your job. I mean Really? And it's like, yeah, I can never do your job. You know, it must be so stressful with all the traffic and, and things like that. You know, London's a big city, and this is what I try and, you know, pacify people with, is that any big city, anywhere there's a lot of trade, a lot of commerce and things going on, yes, there's inevitably going to be traffic. Some days there's more traffic, and that could be a little bit more stressful, the fact that there is more traffic for some unknown reason than what you would normally expect. Over time, as a cab driver, you do build up your knowledge in terms of what roads bottleneck quite easily and where traffic builds up. Things like the changing of the guard on Monday, Wednesdays and Friday, or in the summer times, every day of the week. You'll find that because you can't go down the mall, you're then forced onto Pall Mall, and that whole area of St. James's and Pall Mall is absolute gridlock from about 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. But in terms of the job, no, it's, it's, it's not stressful at all. And this is the great thing, you're your own boss. So really, you should, you should be in quite good control of your level of stress. One of the most stressful things, arguably, about driving in any big city is knowing where to go. If you took me in my cab and you took me to Manchester and I drove around there, yeah, I'd probably find that pretty stressful because I'd have to navigate every road junction brand new, fresh, for the first time. That's quite hard to do. The great thing about London is that with the, you know, learning the knowledge, you've learned every single road inside out. So once you are out in the cab, you then, all you have to then do is just refine, you know, what lane do I need to be in for this exit? What lane do I need to be in for this? And once you do that, when someone gets in and says, look, you know, you pick them up in Piccadilly and they say, driver, I'd like to go to uh, Gresham Street. You pretty much, as well as knowing the route, you know, like five, every like junction in advance, what lane you should be in. So as you turn the corner, you know what lane you need to be in for the next setup for uh, the corner of Trafalgar Square, as you go around King Charles the First Island, as you go up the east side of Trafalgar Square to get into D D Duncannon Street, along the Strand, which one then to get into as you go around the Old Witch. It's, it's just absolutely awesome. You can control your environment in the front, so you can listen to your own music, you can listen to, say, podcasts and things like that. So sometimes, it's, it's, if anything, it's really relaxing because I don't really have to think. I don't have to think about the route because it just comes to you instantly. This electric taxi I find less stressful than the old TX4s. Why? Because I tell people that it drives itself, how comfortable the power steering is, how comfortable uh, the position is, um, the, the reversing camera and things like that. You don't really have to think about too much about driving. And all these things can then slowly wear away at you and make you more and more stressful. One um, thing I like to say to people as well is like in the TX4s, obviously it's a, a diesel engine. When you're sat at traffic lights, quite a loud diesel engine and you're holding the steering wheel it's all vibrating so that's gonna make you feel a bit more kind of tense and stressed in this electric cab you pull up to a set of lights silence there's no engine there's nothing so you can just sit there relax and i think that even sort of comes across the passengers as well i think i found that passengers are definitely far less stressed in this cab than they are in say one of the older tx4s maybe as the day goes on, you can get more and more stressed because you get a little bit more tired, maybe you're a bit hungry, maybe you need to go to the toilet. But these are all factors that you can control because you're your own boss. Once you've dropped the passenger off, turn your light off, go grab a coffee, go grab some food, go home. You know, Maybe, yeah, if you've done a really long shift, you're going to get tired and you're going to get a little bit more irritable towards the end of your shift. But I'm a big believer of stoic philosophy in that there's only two things in life that you can really control. And that is the way that you think, and then respectfully, the way that you act. Everything that happens to you, any external stimulus, is just a combination of those two things. So if you drop your phone on the floor and you smash the screen, some people would get really stressed about that. Oh my God, and they think about all the links that then happen after that. Right, my phone doesn't work. I can't phone this person. I can't do that. This then happens. And then the world then falls apart. The phone's now broken. So there's only two things I can do about that. I can change the way I think about it, and I can then change the way that I then act. Okay, great, my phone's broken. Not much I can do now. What can I do? Right, what can I control? I can go to the phone shop, I can get them to fix it. And then realistically think, right, it's going to take me a couple of days to get my phone back, or, or something like that. And it's just the same, it happens in the cab, really. If you do approach traffic, 
it's London, there's gonna be traffic. What can you do to make the situation better? The person who gets in might be stressful. Again, looking at it from the stoic principles, what way can you do to make that situation better? I can change the way I think about it and I can change the way I act about it. I can respond and react badly or I can be encompassing, I can be, um, you know, I can have empathy towards their situation and try and put myself uh, in their shoes, you know, change the way that I'm thinking about the situation. Largely, I don't get stressed in the cab. This is my office, it's set up the way I like it, I enjoy the job, I'm really well experienced and knowledgeable within the job, so there shouldn't be any reason for stress whatsoever. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please do like, comment, or even best of all, if you can subscribe, that'd be fantastic. I'll see you all again soon, take care.